guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl christiana and i'm back here with another wonderful video on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i actually achieve this hairstyle that i have here on my head so without wasting much of your time let's dive into the video okay my crystals welcome on board so what i'm showing you people right here is the cornrows that i did on my hair already i did two cornrows going round and then i did zigzag in the middle you might be wondering why i did not make all this all the hair round because if you do it will leave the middle looking puffy so i'm going to show you all the item we need we're going to be needing a hedge control and i'll show you what you'll be doing with it we need the edge control you can use any edge control of your choice and I'm using the cartoon Sherbutter hair control. You're going to need the scissors. You're going to need a crochet pin. This is the smaller one. I think along the line, the video, I actually find my bigger one. You're going to need a comb and you're going to need a hair cream of your choice. I'm using Vaseline here. Okay. So what I'm doing here is just patting my hair just the way I want it. If you notice, I used my other hand placing on the hair by guiding the quantity that comes out while i pat the hair i hope that makes sense and one thing about me is i'm very particular about my my part like i care so much about my part when i see a part that is not clean it pissed me off even when i'm working on my client and what i did is pat my hair and the remaining session i put it in a bun so it doesn't come in the way disturbing me from the one i'm doing and then i added a little bit of edge control you know just to put the hair in place and it not flying away and one of the reasons why i like this edge control is that it has a little bit grease in it but it doesn't leave flakes and then it will give a little bit shine to my to the roots or to my scalp but i do not recommend this edge control for like laying your edges because it doesn't really hold down your edges rather it gives a lot of grease so the reason why i choose this particular hair i'm using is it's been a while i use a synthetic hair so i don't want anything tangling on me so fast but this hair i had used it some years ago and i know about it i know that the coils can stand the test of time because the hair is really fluffy and because the hair coil were the coil patterns were created big it gives it a way that you can maintain the coils so technically what i'm doing here is i'm just braiding my hair down you know i don't know a way to explain that but i'm gonna do a video on how to make boss braid in that way you're able to understand how you can make a boss braid and then proceed to making your own hair uh quickly in this video i like to say if you stay in stuttgart or around stuttgart I'm open for appointments starting from the end of July. First week of August, I'll be open for appointment. I'll start taking your appointment. So if you'd like to book an appointment for a braid session, you can send me a DM on Instagram at Stuttgart Hair Boss. Now let's get into the video. So what I'm doing right there is I'm just tying some knots. I'm creating some knot four or three. Depends on how many you want because I don't want this hair unraveling on me except in when i want to take it down so you guys know i told you that i do not joke with my part like my part has to be even it has to be clean every person who have braided for knows that about me my parts are not something i joke with so i just parted the hair i took the session of the hair no i took a hedge control lay it down a little bit the reason why i'm adding this edge control is two reasons number one i want to use it as a little bit of greasing for my roots and the second thing i want to do is that because this edge control does not contain alcohol any form of alcohol this particular brand i'm using i avoid anything that contain alcohol for my hair so it won't break at my edges you understand i hope that makes sense and the second reason is that it adds a little bit of shining to my roots. The third reason is that it, it makes the hair not to fly around since I'm braiding for myself. I purposely slowed down this part because I wanted you guys to see my, uh, my gripping techniques. I'm very good in gripping. Like every small piece of hair does not pass me by. I don't, I, I, I'm not trying to say you should go ahead and braid all of your edges if you notice in this braid i'm creating a little bit of brush which means i'm braiding it backward i didn't put my hand braiding it 
frontward if i had done that it would have put so much pressure on my edges which can cause breakage for my edges but the technique i used was the style that i braided it backward which means creating like a brush in the front in that way i'm not putting too much pressure on my edges because girl i don't have a lot of edges right from the beginning and my edges are not too full so i'm very careful with my edges anything that breaks my edges i try to stay away from them and uh what was i doing <laughs> and then i parted another one and i continue braiding so i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the video i'm just gonna play some music and if there's any place that is necessary for me to say anything or explain anything i'll just say it okay guys and um, before then please do not forget to subscribe on my channel do not forget to click on the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you will be one of the first people to be notified and i want to quickly tell you guys that i'll be bringing in a lot lot of tutorial on hair starting from this month till august because very soon i'll be open for my uh, appointment so which means i'm going to be bringing a lot of my client work here so you don't not want to mix any of those inciting moments with me so do not forget to subscribe and have my notification bell on so let's get into the video and you just watch me create this style
so fam i finally finished the hair and here you can see me just going in with a little bit of edge control definitely i know that this edge control does not hold my hair down more than one hour or two hours i need to use a gel or something like that but i wasn't really feeling bad about it i like the art comb this hair is so nice i went ahead and tried to pack it different styles that i think i can rock this hair with you guys believe i was recording this video or i was doing this video as at around 2 a.m in the morning when all of my kids had slept so if you like to know how long this hair took me it took me one hour 45 minutes precisely like i actually timed myself because i wanted to see how long i would finish so i'll tell you guys on the normal day i'm faster i think but i was already tired because i came back from work and tired needed to sleep but didn't sleep so in here you see me just trying out different styles that i'm checking what i could pack this hair or how i can pack this hair <laughs> i'm just playing around here so if you haven't subscribed to my channel do not forget to subscribe uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel oh my goodness click on the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you guys will be notified and if you're already my crystal i tell you guys all the time you guys shine bright so much in my heart and i love you all so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it to your friends and then tell me any video you would like to see me do i say that all the time everything i'm just doing here guys is just me playing with the hair trying to see what it could look like and have a 